today I wanted to talk about what communication I established with my dog since they were puppies and why it's important to have very clear uh, words to use uh, to clearly communicate with your dog so that they understand uh, what you want. The first key word is the word yes and this is what I use to mark the behavior that I want and that I want the dog to continue and this word always is always followed by a treat. The dog understands that whenever I say yes, there's always be the treat. And this is like a uh, promise that you never pray. I need a drop. Yes. Good boy. Um, and yes also means that the behavior can be finished, so the dog can finish what they were doing and be rewarded. Uh, so therefore, another word I introduced, good, is when I want to uh, praise them for what they're doing, but they want them continue. Uh, and I don't give treats uh, for this word. And please. Good. 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 Yes! So you see that he, he understands that it's, he's doing the right thing, but I just want him to continue, continue until I release him with, a, for example, a yes word. I also use good to mark, again, praise for the behavior, but uh, without attaching a reward component to it. So the dog understands that, yes, they've done the great job, they've done what they wanted, but this time they're not getting the treat. And maybe uh, because we transitioned to another command, or just because this time I decided not to give them uh, a treat. So I just tell it with a different voice to mark where it means the continuation or where it means, yeah, well done, but you're not getting the treat. So if I want to mark the continuation, I say good, good. Uh, but if I'm just uh, praising, I say good. And it can be good boy or good girl. Jump! Good! Jump! Go boy! Through! Through! Boom! Go! And this is because you don't want to keep rewarding every single repetition of a uh, command. So obviously treats that he knows best, uh, sometimes I even skip the reward and don't give them the reward, but then I don't use the yes word so that he doesn't expect he will be rewarded. Another word we use is okay, uh, and that means that they are free, that they, it's a release word that the dog is free, uh, basically either with the training or with the uh, particular combination of commands. This command we typically use outside, uh, for example, when I first want them to wait uh, next to the um, next to the road and I say wait and then when we're ready to go I said okay and that means that they can continue uh, and don't really listen to what I want them to do. I also use the word no but not in a negative way uh, but just to direct them that this is not really the behavior that I wanted just so they understand oh, they need to try something else or they really need to listen and see there is something else that I want them to do. And I use it in a normal voice um, and usually to direct uh, the dog when learning a new trick, um, directing them whether they're doing the right thing or not the right thing. Нет. Баньки. I say no in Russian as нет. Yes. Good boy. And finally, when I need to use a negative uh, Word uh, or commands to interrupt the unwanted behavior or to stop them. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. We use the word, but not the word, but uh, uh, just ah in the very harsh uh, voice. Ah. 